while I wait for Twitch to wake up here. Turn up. Welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for October the 18th, 2021, where Mom discovers that even though she did hive onslaught yesterday on this tune, it didn't register. I, I don't know. Go figure. And good morning, Ed! Good morning, Mom. Here is Ed <laughs> and his common cold. Mm. I really haven't had a cold since this whole COVID thing started because I'm never in public. <laughs> And everyone at work is never in public. So I, I guess that's a good thing, but I suspect when I eventually get a cold, it's going to be nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. <laughs> Though I wouldn't be surprised if I get one, because I went to the concert on Wednesday night, and ma masks were required, proof of vaccination or negative test within the last 72 hours was required to get in the door. And everybody showed their vaccinations or their testing, and everybody wore a mask until we got into the concert and started dancing and that was the end of wearing masks because I no one can dance and wear masks and you know what's the point of going to a concert if you're not crazy and dancing yeah I've seen people uh, when doing um, when going into active that is, and um, undone their masks um, that is some wear it as a bracelet yeah I usually wear mine as a bracelet it's yeah. Still in the car, I some, guess. Yeah, uh, some also uh, put it as protector over the elbow. <laughs> well, I had it on for the first band, which was on for like 45 minutes, because cause the music wasn't very good and I didn't care about dancing. The second group that I'd gone to see came on and they were wonderful, and I left the mask on for the first song and then realized, you know, when you're doing... I've got to take off my glasses to do this. When you're doing this... For an hour and a half, you can't really breathe with the mask on. And I, I made a couple of attempts to keep it on. Nope, 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 nope. And then when they got to the halfway point and they started doing things like Wolf Totem and Uve Uve U, and you're now not just dancing, but you're jumping up and down and screaming the lyrics and everything. Yeah, no masks. And here it is, what, five days later and no cold symptoms? No nothing symptoms? Maybe I lucked out and didn't get a cold. Good concert, too. I'm just kicking myself because it turns out they had just been in Indiana a couple of weeks before, and I could have seen them here instead of driving all the way up to Chicago to see them. Okay, you, you have seen them now, so all is good. <laughs> yes, all is excellent. Great band. If you get a chance to see them, because they're coming to Europe next, definitely worth seeing. Probably not close to you, but who knows. They have a concert that they did during COVID that they did in studio, but broadcast it like a live concert as a fundraiser, which 
they're as good in person as they are in recording, so it was really interesting to know they were doing that in the meantime. So anyway, we were t I'm not going to worry about Hive Onslaught. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I have defeat captains on the ground. I have heal health on the ground. I have plasma damage in space. And you said we're going to do something where I need to get sabotage, right? Um, sabotage. Uh, this would be this thing right here. Hang on a second. Let me go over to the mailbox and pick that up. Thank you. I shall equip Gorney with his sabotage. And why am I putting sabotage in my repertoire? It's uh, so, uh, so well on, um, uh, yeah, um, uh, armed force in general, cause it's kind of a weapon malfunction area effect. Mm -hmm. Uh annihilates uh, Dyson battle suits and uh, some other uh, gives other Dysonians bad time. Oh, isn't this the uh, one that you can use against the uh, skeletons? Exactly, that uh -huh. was where I was going to after first distracting you with the old stuff. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, my idea is Gorney and uh, Captain Cuddles uh, see Castle Pyrus and use up them skeletons. I'm game to try that. I had heard something about a module working against skeletons, and when I looked at it, hey, this works against non-living. So let's see, that would be skeletons, but not Davidians. What about witches? Are they considered living or non-living? I would say living. What about the skull? Uh, yes, my uh, thought. No, it's definitely... Probably not living, yeah. <laughs> Probably not living. <laughs> definitely hope it's not living. I ran in here for a reason. Why did I run in here? Oh, I have no idea. Okay. Alrighty then. Well, does this mean you would like to do the new event? Or did you want to do yeah. something else first? The uh the something else first stuff okay. is um <laughs> nothing is special. It's much more entertaining to uh, <laughs> to do the uh, TFO first. Okie dokie. Hang on a sec. Let me. Heat has finally gotten to the point where it's comfortable in here. I can take off my sweater. I hate having to run the heat. Let's see, Captain Cuddles, correct? Yeah. All right, I have sent you an invitation. I something else. Um, well, uh, I would first now uh, gracefully decline the okay. basic inv invitation. Um, make a private team. Okie dokie. One second. Here. There we go. And now just in invite uh, the friendly, the, the friendly Furby. <clears throat> the friendly Furby. You kept the cuddles. I did. I just sent you an invitation. Did it not go? Uh, nothing what? about task force oper. Ah, there, there it you is. Go. Okay. Yeah, I've had that yeah. problem sometimes. It I think it's my keyboard is uh, a little sticky and a lot old. And I have a spare keyboard in the other room, so I probably should go grab that tonight. Yeah. But I've gotten I'm so actually... used to this one, you know. It's my friend. But I've used it to the extent that the space bar is pretty much invisible, and the S and the D keys are no longer readable. They're just little flashing lights. So I guess it's time to get oh, yeah. a new keyboard. Yeah. Okay. So did you want to run this as a private then? Yep. We can do as a as a team of two. Okay. 
even as a team of one, you can yes, do I, it. Yes, um, I actually was noticing this morning that somebody was posting how to do this as an AFK, which is you go in, get yourself killed by the first round of skeletons, and don't resurrect until the end. It'll auto-play, apparently, so I'm going to give that a try on those days when I can't play it in a timely fashion. So, let's... Yeah, so see. it's private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cat's tail. I am starting this up. There we go. So, you see how this old one is named Yenvep? Yeah. Okay, the reverse of Yenvep is Pevney. P-E-V-N-E-Y. And Joseph Pevney was one of the original directors of the old TOS. Oh, you know, I've never played this with lighting. I've played it on my laptop, but this is the first time it's been anything more than just this haze of gray. This is cool. <laughs> Uh, it's, um, architecture is awesome and, uh... Yeah, this is nice. A likely thing. Oops, hang on one second before we jump in there. Let's put... Yeah, uh... Da, 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 da. Yeah, you have the sabotage on the usable button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's... Oh, well, automatically went in there. I didn't even see it. Okay, got an unusable button. I am ready. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so do we want to hit all the candles? Um, lighting candles is um, just gives extra mark. It's of course useful when skeletons want to explore the castle. And you, this or is you the first time I can see the candles. Oh my gosh, this is so much better than doing this without any lighting. I tried doing... Oh, I died. That's not good. Did we get them all? In this... Uh, yeah, in this walk, yes. Yes. Okay. I... Wow, this is so uh, cool. I can actually see the candles. Can you see the cats? Oh, uh, w when a cat pops up, uh, yeah, they are just temporarily there. That is so cool. I hadn't seen any of this before. Why did I keep dying? I wonder if I've lost all my trade skin. Give me one sec to look at that. Yeah, all my ground reputation traits are gone, but everything else is there. Go figure. Um, num, 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 num. Wow. This is so cool. I can see things. Oh, there is a corner. Yes, there's a corner. How do we get in there? I hear a cat. It's just in the circle here. The circle. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, teeny tiny cat. Shall we hit the door? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how much nicer this looks. I also like it when you light the candles, it's like a switch goes on. There's that little book sound. Well, that worked nicely. Yeah, and uh, the re really uh, <laughs> engineer's best trick was the skeleton's brapsel. Damn it. 
attack and have it. I had to uh, do a mud. <clears throat> yeah, do I have mud on this one? Um, I will revive you when I have. Uh, Thanks. I will put on my sword. Lean the bone. Take a quick look at why everything. Crazy amount of dying. And um, you can set traits in a TFO map. Yep. That feels new. Um, not that new, but it might be new enough. Thank you for re resurrecting me. By the way, I appreciate that. I think you can do it out of combat. Ah, okay. I pull them. Nice. Oh, that is so sweet. So I think we get all the candles. <laughs> Oops. Probably shouldn't have gone in there by myself. That's not going to be a good thing. I'm going to switch that out for Burnham's. Shall we move on to the next room? Okie doke. I was doing this on my laptop with its lousy lighting and somebody decided it would be really fun to do it with the uh, motion accelerator going. Oh, it was so annoying. Couldn't see anything, kept slamming into walls. Very annoying. I'll just give the skeleton guy a sabotage. Whoa! That's nice. Yeah. I like that. Oh, one. skeleton guy. Yeah. That that's awesome cuz that's been one of the pain in the butt parts. It's getting him dead. Let's light the candles. Did we get all the candles lit? No, there's one over here. <laughs> okay, whoever did the music, good Talk choice. <laughs> Talk to Livia. I talked to Livia and I'm being back. I hear a kitty kitty. It's a candle on the book. So every now and then I get transformed into a cat. What is that about? Hex do that to you. It's uh An attack. So it just deactivates me for a while then. 
Yeah, I usually, when I'm in CAT, I hide somewhere, um, and uh, when I'm back, I start placing my, uh, okay, these are the harmless ones. Mm -hmm. Now, with only two of us, I'm curious what will happen. Okay. Okay, we have been displaced. Mm -hmm. I, I guess you got spiders. I got spiders. Okay, stomp them. Oh, yeah. I mean, while... Uh, I see the fortune teller, I think. Mm-hmm. You have to collect all the goodies. Giddy night shade. The feast for my children. It into the cauldron. Now, you know the last spider here that comes out after you kill all the other ones? Is that a name that makes sense to you? Not really. Okay, the final spider's name is Charlotte. Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte. There, there's an American uh, book called Charlotte's Web. And it's about a spider who befriends a pig. Wonderful story. Absolutely delightful. But she's good and lovely and all those other things. And then this is not a good and lovely and wonderful spider. <laughs> and there's the key. I can see the key. That's amazing. Lighting, lighting so awesome. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I'm right behind you, Captain. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Travelers, go back. Beware a curse. Wind shall rise. So leave here all, or meet your end. So I've been kiddified. Let's see how that works. Uh, doesn't seem to work that well. Um, yeah. I was trying. I hide someplace. Okay. Skull. Stop annoying me, I need to shoot my skull. Now I'm a cat. Well, something here counted as a captain. 
maybe. Probably a skeleton. Or a skeleton guy. Yeah. Uh. I'm sorry, but it's very distressing for me, a giant Gorn, to suddenly be a kitty cat. I have the book now. And I too took to this, um, yeah, Holok. Book there. Are you ready? I thought my Ghostbuster gun would have done better against the Davidians than it did. <laughs> Love the sound effects. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll distract them while you go do that. Yeah. I gave him the Zeppo. Very nice. <laughs> that worked out really well. Yes, definitely ambush. You did it. The Davidians have been defeated, and the transmuter is under. You did. So let's see where we are. Leaving the map. Wow, that worked out really well. Well, Ed, you'd be so proud of me. I've been cleaning out my inventory. I've been opening up new ships, and I'm trying to dedicate each ship to being a specific energy type so that everything isn't sitting in my inventory, but it's over on a ship. But I have a dedicated phaser build, obviously. Do you think it's worth it for me to go run Stormbound three or four times to get the Quantum Phase set? Stormbound is... Uh, it's one of the Lucari episodes. Yeah. Usually I, uh, these days I just run it twice uh, when a character is growing uh, to get the nice torpedo and the phaser itself. 
Oh, no, or that, the, that's... Uh, the console. Okay, so I ran Sunrise. Hang on a second, let me just jump over here to the episodes here. Do, 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 do. New Frontiers. Okay, one is weapons, one is uh, engine stuff. Right, so I ran right. Sunrise and I grabbed the uh, phase torpedo and the quantum phase converter and the heavy cannons, because that was a cannon build. But in the episode Stormbound, we've got the space set, which is the quantum phase deflector, impulse engine, shields, and the emitter array. Do you think it's worth it to run? I mean, it's a relatively fast one. But do you think that would be the optimum set to have for a phaser build, or is there another set that would be a better phaser build? Yes. If you... Um, alternate settings... Um, I usually uh, prefer... Um, these days, I, I, I prefer a build with... Um, uh, discovery pieces okay. and other stuff. Not just the dedicated to phasers, just uh, combining ship survival and, and damage in general. Okay. That is when I'm a grown-up grown up character. This is a grown-up character. It's just it's yeah. a grown-up character living on a bit of a budget. And I've been waiting or using my uh, money to get select pieces that optimize it. So I've thrown in, for example, on a different one, um, something from the Terran set for the Disruptor, um, something from Discovery for another piece here and there. But because yeah. I didn't have a ton of weapons available, I just went back and ran that three times to pick up all the weapons. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I uh, mix sets up uh, usually... Um, it's a uh, Tilly Shield, t uh, Tilly Warp Core, uh, mm -hmm. Discovery Reputation. It's a Maneuver Reputation Impulse Drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Deflector, um, if I want to uh, go punchy, I just uh, I pick the, um, uh, call, uh, the proper Colcrit Deflector okay. from the Fleet's Colony. Yeah. Um, when it uh, when it's a small character that is growing, but its reputation is waiting for you, um, I go for the event set uh, that comes for for free. Okay. Uh, the revolutionary yeah. imperial combination stuff. I have got that one available, so I've got that on the main uh, ship that I've got. But I'm trying to you know have a unique build for each one. You know, if I can do it, and then I'm going to hopefully do that for each tune I'm going to keep. So that if I want to have, like in this case, I've got plasma damage. Well, I've got a plasma damage dedicated ship for that account. Mm. Yeah. Um, there, I um, I, I, uh, I I stick to the general ge generalized damage boosters, and of course weapons also. Uh, on wep for weapons, I go dedicated. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. So for your phaser build. Uh, Terran Reputation Tier 6 with the awesome uh, phaser you uh, get then. Yes, yes, that's what I did. Uh, except I did it on my uh, other account, which... So it's on my Klingon, so I can't get the Terran phaser. Can I get the Terran phaser when I'm on a Klingon? Yes, did sure. Just... It's Reputation. Uh, Terran Reputation goes at Tier, uh, uh, tier 5 and, and below. You just get the Disruptor option, but at Tier 6, phasers are open. That's you. why, because she's still at tier five. She'll be tier six tomorrow. Yeah. Perfect. Um, Excellent. <clears throat> also for phaser build, uh, the Moloka deconstructible something unit uh, <laughs> from the. <laughs> um, from which one? It, um, it's a uh, it's a uh, console from the exchange. Oh. That um, molecular what? deconstructor. That sounds familiar. Like one of my tunes has that someplace. Y yeah, the, um, we stole that from the Herkies. <laughs> Ooh. But my goal is get all my tunes through all the missions, get all my ships opened and leveled up, which is saying a lot because I have a lot of ships sitting in boxes. I'm trying to get them open, trying to get them leveled. Always a challenge to get everything leveled. I'll oh, use that exchange. Die. Ooh, 
molecular solvent canisters. That sounds good, but... No, it's a deconstruct. Right. Uh, the deconstruct is the word. Well, that's not coming up. You said exchange, right? Yeah, it's a console. Not at the moment, it's not. Just means nobody's got it up for the moment. It's there. Deconstructive resonance um, ah. meta would be translation. Console epic universal. Yeah, that should make it deconstruct. Yep. So under Epic, oh, somebody wants only 5.8 million for it. That's not too bad. So let's see what that does. 15 cent percent uh, kinetic, 15 phaser. Ooh, that would be nice for a phaser build, yes. Nice uh, for a kinetic build, it, too. And um, also nice uh, to give the bigos uh, the console ability uh, that is deteriorating their resistances. Oh, yeah, hey, I can pick that up. That's an... Fortunately, I have 5.8 million that I can spend. No worries. Is it on this tune, though? That is the question. It is on a different well, one. Well, it's not great. You should have it in... in... You, you have the money. Oh, yeah, no problem. I have it. I have to... Oops, somebody gave us a follow there. Let me switch back and see who gave us a follower. Zolito, or Cholito. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate it. How are you doing this morning? Wow. There's another follow. Azul43. Wow, two follows in one morning. Thank you both very, very much. We appreciate it very much. Hope you guys are doing good this morning. As the temperature has now gone to 42 degrees, the temperature has gone down this morning, Ed. Wow. You're sending me all that cold from Germany and... Brrr. Brrr. All right, so let's go on over here. Everybody's down here. <laughs> Crowded place. Let's see. That would be my Polaren build. Dakota is not named. I haven't decided that one. Hmm. Let's find my phaser build. Oh, that's because my favorite build's on a different one. That's okay. That's my kinetic build. The Polaris is going to be a Polaren build. You will be my phaser build. There we go. I've set it up on my phaser build. Good. We'll add that to the fun. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's see. I have to do some plasma damage in space. How would you feel about doing a little plasma with the Federation lady? Basically, yes. Only thingy... Um, or I can, well, I can't, I don't need to do phaser on my other account, though. Maybe I do. Hang on a second. See what's going on on the other account. I stick to um, endeavors with uh, my king and record, but it's doing the No, <laughs> no worries. Let me switch to the other account and see what I got going on. Do, 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 do. Uh, Azul, thank you so much for the follow. Glad you like the game. We we just happen to like the game, too. Just happen. Alright, let me see what this Klingon recruit needs to do today. Oh, I have plasma damage to do on this tune, too, but I also have to defeat Voth on the ground and destroy Borg ships. Lots of fun stuff to do on this Klingy. Um, yeah. Does she have any plasma on her? Let's see if I have a plasma loadout. Nope, I have a polar on loadout. No worries. Where am I? 
I did cutting the cord this morning before um, I logged on to talk with you. <laughs> As well, yeah, I've been on it since it started, so I can totally appreciate that. I mean, the only time I didn't play for an extended period was when I was hiking in New Zealand, where one, we didn't have electricity, and two, we didn't have internet, so I didn't see a point in taking the computer with me. Left it down at the hotel, though, as soon as I got back from hiking. Um, what? On ground? Mm -hmm. so that is something Catherine Janeba Janeway also has. Ooh, excellent! We could uh, go take on the Voth. I wish, we had, I wish there was another option for Voth on the ground besides the battle zone, though. I would like to tackle them someplace else, just for fun. I'm coming back. Oh, wrong place. Wrong place. I didn't mean to come here. Gosh darn it. Give me one second. Ooh. That. Azul is asking, what is your favorite ship? I have to think about that one. Because I have a few that I love, but they're kind of old school. If you wanted to go general, it would be the Mogai. Um, specific ships, though. I love the Acheros, and I love my Astika, but they're different. I mean, I love them for different reasons. Ed, do you have a favorite ship? Uh, un hesitatingly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, th that was a little on the vague side. Is there a specific one? Uh, Larry Dreadnought. From Winter Event. Ooh, that's right. You play that on Mort. The Green Cobalt the green on cobalt. Mort. Also, Catherine's Watchama call it. And <laughs> b both ships, um, well, that's kind of building um, um, a nasty style, and uh, these ships combined uh, is um, look bad and do grunt. And as well, tanky and uh, just. Uh, Hesitatingly, because um, uh, each of my captain has his flagship, his personal flagship, and so yeah. uh, I have a variety of ships that look nice, do well, and the like. But um, that the, the ferry. Uh, so and, and, uh, when it comes to science ship, um, the answer would be definitely no, because there are so many awesome. Oh. That is Miss Money Piggy running a fleet Pathfinder, USS Janeway. Um, skin from legendary, but not a legendary ship, that does the, the fleet Pathfinder and doing well and awesome. And um, yeah, uh, the Vern and other temporal ships also very nice science ship. So, hmm. Azul, I have a tendency to find a ship that I adore and then leave all the other ships I've gotten in their boxes and never touch them. And then like right now, we're coming up to the end of the year and the part of my brain that's into completion is like, <gasps> finish all missions, try out all ships. So I start racing through them and I wind up going back to the ones I really love. Mostly they're my lobby ships that I adore. That said, um, I still haven't gotten my... Uh, La Serena out of the box, and I've never done what I should with my jellyfish, so I've got those two that I really need to tweak out. And guess what? Um, every year Hallmark uh, makes a Christmas ornament from Star Trek. They do one from Star Trek, and then they do like figures of the various characters. And so this year the ship that they did was the La Serena. And I went to the grocery store about 7 o'clock the other morning, and the Hallmark store is open at 7 o'clock, and I'm like, what's going on? So it's their grand opening, the first day of their new ornament sale. And I walked in, and it's La Serena. So, of course, I picked that up for my Christmas tree because, you know, a Christmas tree without Star Trek ornaments is just wrong. But, yeah, I've never taken that one out of the box, and I still have to figure out who deserves it. It's a great ship. I figure I'll do it with all Zatvash cannons just to have some fun. 
So, Ed, are you ready to tackle the uh, Voth on the ground? Yeah. Alrighty. Oops. Well, I guess I'm going to have to figure out a uh, sphere of influence. That'll do it. Uh, yes. Uh, I need to shortcut it because I'm going to cool down. Do, 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 do. do I not have that up? I guess I don't have that up. No worries. Azul likes the temporal multi-mission science ships. Can't blame you for that. Okay, gonna take a 30 second break while the uh, ship goes over to Dyson's for I'll be right back. Cold enough, I had to go grab a bathrobe to try and warm up. All right, almost at the Dyson Sphere. And ground battle zone. Uh huh. Beaming down. I only have 20 to kill, so how many do you need to kill? Um, f I think we can have fun in the city. Okay, off to the city it is. Yep, running the outer circle. Yeah, transporters aren't working. Let's see, what do we want to do? Ooh, going north. This one's going to get lost in just a moment. Might as well yep. save it. But they've got one person to hold it. That's not right. There we go. We are secured. Do you want to go up and hit the artillery, or are you going in a different direction? Yeah, yeah just uh, clockwise. Um. Okie dokie. Good morning, Mr. Dave. How are you? I'll go left if you want to go right. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, Mr. Dave. But I had a sick day about two weeks ago and then had to take two days off to deal with husband. So much as today would have been very nice to just stay in home and wrap up in bed, that didn't happen. We good here? We'll think we are fine. Okay. There we go. Doing the last generator. Bye 
Haha, <laughs> ein <laughs> Bridge of the Sound <laughs> Let's see, okay. Clockwise it is. Oops, there we go. Yeah, Mr. Dave, I will tell you that I got home and my husband's kind of bugging me to quit my work and just move back home and retire. And I'll tell you, it's tempting some days. I have three to go. That would be awesome. I would do that very happily, Mr. Dave. But I still want to meet Ed. And in order to meet Ed, I have to have enough money to go take the occasional vacation. And I have to meet uh, Pi as well, which means I need to have a slightly longer vacation. And while we can afford, technically, for me to retire... It would be a little tight. But my lease is up in July, so maybe I'll make that decision at that time. Oh, I got my 20, so I will take care of turrets and stuff, and you can kill Voth. Uh, same here, it's... Oh, um, okay. But, um, also, we have the, uh... The, the Arnie mission to, um... Okay, we got that one done. <laughs> All right, do we want to keep doing these, or do we want to do something else for our last one of the day? Um, last we can morning. complete this uh, just uh, one last uh, sure. one last one. Let's do one last one. Let's head south. Yeah, I'm right behind you. And there's somebody standing there, so I guess that's all taken care of. 
Yep. Foth. They beam down and then they just explode and die. I think that's um, the task. Yeah, but I feel bad for him. Don't think I got enough to. Oh, I do. Let's see. Yeah, you want to go down and do the south one, or go back and fix the first one, which is falling again? I'm gonna go, go back fix the first one, yeah. Yep. Otherwise, they're gonna have to redo it. I think in four minutes the dinos will probably not appear, cause the outskirts is. Um... We're at seventy-five percent, but that would make everybody have to get their act together, which doesn't always happen. Oops, wrong one. Next one, Mom. There we go. Oh, first one completely fell. Didn't get back there fast enough. We'll see if I can fix it in three minutes. I will do that. Uh, it's a good. lorry, uh, so uh, more or less. Um... <laughs> Shooting this guy in the back, and he's not dying. Go get him! Go get him, Targi boy! Did I ever show you the vests that we made for the Vegas convention? Um, those we uh, Fleming yes, targs are flaming targs. Oh, oh. I wasn't sure if I'd shown them to you or not. But watching all these flaming targs here, stand around here. It's always nice. I wore it actually to the concert because I figured it was going to be cold in Chicago. Which, by the way, it was cold in Chicago. The concert uh, venue is in Lincoln Park, which is right on the lake. And it is a big lake, and it gets really cold. Device is moving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, 
All right. Let's put some reinforcements here to... Oh, I don't have any reinforcements left. Okay. Well. Nope, three credits doesn't count for anything. Well, I think that's where I'm going to have to end it for today, or at least for this morning, Ed. As I do have to go to work and um, write stuff today. Plus it's Monday, which is payroll day. Yay, payroll. <laughs> so. Yeah, but we, we did, uh, we complete our battle nodes and uh, so. We, and had a little fun there. Yeah, uh, not leaving stuff behind that, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to beam up so I don't come down to a dead tune again. And on behalf of Mom and Ed in the morning, I want to say thanks to everybody who joined us. And thank you, Azul, for the new follow. And thank you for Zolido for your new follow. We appreciate them both very much. Um, let's see if there's anybody we can go raid at this hour of the morning. Let's go up there. You, darn you, I want to see you. Okay. Who is out there that we can go raid? Mm -hmm. Oh, Alt Lexington's on. Let's go raid Alt Lexington, everybody. If you haven't given him a follow, please give him a follow. Support your fellow Star Trek Online players. So everyone, have a great day. Ed and I will be back in the morning. I'm not going anywhere for a couple of weeks, so there shouldn't be any interruptions like last week. And we will be back tonight at 7 o'clock with Mom and DT. So, Ed, you got to say your words because, I mean, it's not a show if you don't say your words. Sure. So have a great start of the week and stay awesome. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds and we will be raiding everybody. Five, four, three, two, one, raid. <laughs>